Hello, welcome, and good day. It is another Let's Update Modding Open MW. Uh, jumping right into it. We've got the usual uh, tunes playing, hopefully a little quietly in the background, uh, as our soundtrack, and hopefully you can actually hear me. Uh, let's see here real quick. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. All right. Uh, so moving on, um, just to jump ahead a little bit, um, today we're going to be resuming, you know, setting up Total Overhaul. Howdy, Gonzo. Welcome. Glad to see you, man. Uh, good day. Uh, very glad you're here. Uh, and so, yeah, as I was just saying, though, uh, today we're going to be resuming where we left off, setting up. Um, there's a few points to get into regarding that, but before I do, just want to uh, go over a few things uh, that are coming up. Um, so, yo, hey, Joe Toho, welcome. Good to see you. Ha uh, welcome back. Um, so, yeah, you read it right here. Uh, signpost fast travel uh, travel menu. Um, it's basically ready for release. I'm just using it um, on my Steam Deck, trying to find bugs and whatnot. Um, and uh, actually, I will go ahead and just let's take a whoops. Let's take a quick look at that. Yep. Okay, good. Um, and so uh, the intent of this update is to provide the player with uh, kind of a fast travel menu. Sort of like what's found in other games. Um, we can't at the moment use the map, you know, to like put clickable stuff on the map. That would be obviously optimal. Um, so for now, I've chosen to just implement a simple menu that's all text. Um, you can navigate it with keyboard, uh, WASD, arrow keys. Um, you can navigate it with a controller if you're playing with a gamepad. So whoop, here I am. This very crooked looking signpost right here. And so you just walk up to it. So by default, you need to have a special item in your inventory, uh, which is this here, fast travel token. Um, but you can actually go into the script settings menu here under signpost fast travel. And uh, there's an option way here at the bottom, travel menu, consumes the token. You can just tick that and uh, make it say no, and it won't take a token, but I'm leaving it on. That's just the default, you know, to kind of balance out this feature, which I think is fun. But yeah, anyway, you activate the signpost, and you get this uh, friendly menu here, which, uh, again, you know, I'm navigating it with WASD. Um, <laughs> hey, good morning, Sector. Welcome. Glad you're here today, man. Uh, so yeah, you just, uh, you know, you can also use the mouse and, and click and, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, so the point is to implement an optional kind of convenience travel menu, right? And so you just click it and, and off you go there. Boom. Here we are in Skull. Took, uh, took a, took a little bit of time. Ooh, we have two menus there. Two messages popping up. We found a bug on the stream. Look at that. Uh, obviously I'll have to fix that. But yeah, um... Oh, yeah, Jotoho, yeah, so absolutely, um, so, uh, so let me, I'll get into that in a moment, actually, thank you for bringing that up, um, so yeah, anyway, that's my fast travel, uh, update that's coming up, look forward to that, obviously have that bug to fix, I'm gonna put a note for myself on here, so I don't forget, um, I don't know how far we are, we're about three minutes in, it's in double message bug, and, uh, I guess I'll be fi I guess I'll be fixing that. So okay, yeah. Anyway, moving on. As uh, you know, Joe Doho just mentioned. Yeah, there is a natural character growth and decay Lua edition, which actually, uh, let's see here. Let me. Uh, I got too many Firefox windows open. Dear me. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Whoops. Here we go. use my own website uh yeah so by yours truly evil eye uh and based on gray wanders code uh the is this the meat circus um phantom train uh gobble snarf snap is the name of the cover i think that's what you're talking about gonzo yeah um anyway though so so this one was created before even the lua api even launched uh, Evil Eye implemented stats, gave me the kind of like basis of the code, and I ran with it. Um, and uh, so it's been out actually for a while. 
two years almost now coming up here and uh you can find it on gitlab of course along with all of the mods that i make um i definitely encourage you to go to gitlab.com slash modding dash openmw and you can see everything here um, including the source code repository and i'm actually presently working on a very large update for ncgd lua edition um you can go to the change log here and you can see there's a 2.0 being prepared. We have, um, as I have written here, there's new health and leveling calcula calculations uh, that were just merged recently, um, been in progress for a while by uh, our friend Medi Yusfi Minod. So big props to MYM for uh, waiting forever for me to merge that and uh, also for writing it and thinking about kind of how to, uh, you know, make the experience of using the mod better, you know, and I can definitely attest, um, you know, one of the complaints you see a lot about this one is the HP ends up kind of being, you know, janked a little bit in terms of like a higher level character. And right now the character that you just saw when I was demoing the fast travel menu, uh, you know, I do feel like he should have more HP for the kind of build he is, you know, and so, uh, you know, again, with, uh, with Medi's change uh looking forward to you know doing a new build and, and trying a new play style with ncgd and and really enjoying that so so what's great about the lua version is that um it is a simpler code base right um the mw script version was like six to seven thousand lines of mw script because you weren't able to do something like make a function that generalizes you know and just says give me give me this attribute and i will do the same thing on all of them right you couldn't do that with mw script really um so it ended up being a really just huge code base. Trying to troubleshoot problems with it was hard. <laughs> um, so yeah, I uh, let's see if I can. No, yeah. So I'm in the middle of working on a repackaging, as you may have seen written there. But yeah, this is just the. Let me go to the bottom of this page, and it's 640 lines of Lua, and that's with you know very generous commenting and white space. Um, Exactly, Johto, exactly. Less code, less bugs. Hopefully I don't goof up too much, that is. Um, yeah, so so yeah, I'm the same way though. It's like the, this mod, actually natural character growth and decay, is the reason I got into OpenMW modding. I thought, ooh, you know, leveling is kind of the one thing I didn't love about Vanilla Morrowind, but this seemed to kind of be an angle that would be cool. Turns out it's really good, um, you know, with some arguable quirks. Um, and so, yeah, I'm look, again, looking forward to uh, using Medi-Use Feed Minogue's new algorithms and doing that in my new 6.0 playthrough. So we also have new patches for other mods by Alvazir. Turns out there's a boatload of mods that were using abilities that I didn't know about, including stuff I'm using, Meteors, of all things. Um, so I've pulled those in with Alvazir's permission. We're going to dis distribute those to everybody with the mod. New packaging that's going to kind of resemble, uh, if we look right here, we've got like the... You know the new format going on yeah i totally recommend it um i make it the default leveling on the mod list but i've actually been debating not doing that um you tell you love it or you hate it thing but yeah you can see here this is going to be the new packaging it's going to be the kind of zero zero numbered sequence thing to cut hopefully separate things and make it easier to uh point people to just what they want so yeah been working on that on the side here uh, and yeah, new documentation, new 0 0.49 plus features. By that I mean um, when you level down, we can actually play the uh, the kind of bummer sound that the original one played. Um, that's 0 0.49, obviously, only. Um, but also another thing that's a little bit subtle um, that I'll show right here that I actually didn't know really I was missing um, was the thick border for the menu. Um, the original stats menu that I had written. Let's just go in here and make sure we got a key bound for it. Uh, cool. Okay. Yeah, the original menu. All right. Well, this is a bad. This is a bad example. I guess this theme doesn't show any border. Uh, but with 0 0.49 now, we have a thick border. I'm gonna actually play the minimal version. Um, no, I won't because that's in flux. Okay. So anyway, moving on, NCGD 2.0, probably going to be, be released soon, certainly by uh, the time 6.0 drops. I have also forked the MBSP <clears throat> Uncapper Lua mod, um, just made a few slight changes again, adding sounds for 0.49+, thicker border on 0.49+, but also notably using the on-frame engine handler so it runs when menus are up, if that matters um, for how that one works. Because you can, you, you know... You can buff skills with the menus up in dialogue, for example, so or conversation, just as a matter of conversation. 
Uh, so yeah, moving on then. We're gonna resume the setup of 6.0. Um, I feel like doing that last week, we found a lot of small things here and there, so we're just gonna continue using it. Um, big props to Ronick um, for improving the grouping and the ordering of several lists, including Tio. I feel like the old list was just, <laughs> compared to what we have now after you know Ronick fixed it up, was just nonsense. And yeah, it's looking so good. Um, so it's gonna kind of change our flow, but not too much because we didn't make it too far exactly. And something I thought about, uh, if you saw the stream last week, we had the pink missing textures on the houses, and I feel like maybe we should just suggest using Project Atlas textures just to avoid that and avoid uh, kind of putting people in a position where the game is literally broken. So, um, yeah, well, without further ado, let's jump in. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, this is the config as we left it at the end of the stream last week. Um, but we need to now go back and... Let's look at what we got here already checked out. So yeah, Legion dialog. I don't actually know if we have that. Legion. Whoop. Okay, yeah, that one I think was probably shuffled back up by the aforementioned regrouping. So what we're gonna do is we'll jump backwards and, and do that one. somewhere. Hang on. Here's what we're going to do. Immersive exit mod with beds, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think that's worth doing at least as a... To do it. And, you know, I think a lot of folks might be into that kind of a thing. Where, yeah, you're in bed. You wake up, right? You're like, okay, well, get up, you know? Um, ideally, it would also work on a gamepad. I don't know if you got a gamepad sector. Or what gamepad you prefer. Fixes... Really, right? Any input? Yeah, that could work too, right? You just jiggle the analog stick or, or click the mouse. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You could use a shader to do that even. Okay. That's a cool idea. Now we're talking. All right, here we go. Put it in the right place, you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Joe Toho. Um, I think it would be a neat aspect for some folks. I'll just plop that one in there, replace it. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and put ourselves, yeah. Enable. Refresh. All right. Um, yeah, that's right. This morning I was getting coffee and left off checking if I had any checked things shuffled down here we'll uncheck them make sure we're going in order all right we do not let's get our new setup okay and so yeah the pattern here is just whoops the pattern here is just to get the new config from the website <clears throat> let's erase what I got here and Copy and paste it in. If it doesn't work, we got a bug on the website. Really, that's what it means. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to actually have to go back and redo. Because we don't have a bug <laughs> with this one. We don't have a bug in the CFG generator. We have a bug in my setup. Some of the things we've already done have changed. Uh, well, let's find out what, though, huh? All right. 
Yeah, yeah. So, so a couple of problems here. Reported by our handy dandy validator tool. Let's go ahead and go into the land masses folder. The tomb of the snow prince. Let's actually look at that mod on the website. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, there's clearly some. Let's get into the... There we go. So we got some stuff missing, right? Not using that. One... I had the files, just in a weird folder layout. Uh, let's check it again. Hmm, I don't know where this comes from. Ronic, uh, if they hop on. For now, I'm going to go ahead and omit that one. Uh, and let's go ahead and validate again. Cool, yeah, so we're good except for that one, which we will hopefully stumble upon. Uh, doesn't seem to be included in here. Let's hold on, let's take another look at these files. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't know where this one comes from. So. Hmm. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the data for the website. We're going to fix it, and then, yeah, I'm going to talk to Ronick later on and see what's going on. I must be missing something. Ask our friend Git. Maybe Git knows. There it is, though. There's the change. Go ahead and All 
All right, yeah, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put that. And we still good, okay. And one thing I'm gonna do here is go ahead and get that beta website updated. Coffee time. Uh, yeah, further to what, by the way, Sector, what you said there, input actions are device agnostic anyway. That's definitely true. I think the reason why my mindset was in, like, uh, make sure to support controllers, because with user interface exact, uh, in particular, uh, you have to explicitly build controller support into there, and that's what I did with signpost fast travel. Um, all right, moving on here. Let's see. We got this one. Yeah. Uh... Let's see what we have coming up. All right. Yeah, so, okay, we're going to start in uh, with the textures, and this is going to fix our previous missing textures problem. Um, hopefully the website's not too broken. Oops. <laughs> I guess it's time for a sip of coffee. Redownload it. Yeah, okay, I totally have the... Mm, that's why. For whatever reason, I have a different graphics replacer file. That's why we're doing this. Um, and just for posterity, I'm going to get this one, too. And let's just... Honestly, let's re-extract everything, right? I'm going to hang on to these. A folder I like to call old. Okay. Let's try this again. Hmm? Again. Hmm? And in the meantime, while we, this is unborking, we can uh, let's see if this little trick works. When your website's broken, just use the other website. You know what I mean? carry a backup website. <clears throat> and so when I when I get off my, you know, lazy behind and actually implement the single per group checkbox, um, it'll be a lot easier. You won't have to sit here and do what I'm doing here. Um, you'll just check one and all of them will be checked. But I haven't actually finished that feature. Shame on me. All right, I think we're basically back to where we ought to be. Go ahead and submit that again. This guy can crunch in peace, and so can we. All right. Hmm, 
quite a lot of stuff has met. Alright, this one I am not going to re-download. Um, and actually, we're not quite going to go there just yet. Well, let's take a... Let's take a look at Tomb of the Snow Prince, shall we? Make sure we got this right. <coughs> Alright. So... I think with the exception of... That one... Just take them all. This one, if you didn't see on a previous stream, I think we, if this is the one I'm thinking of, went against it just because it's quite a bit bigger than the vanilla mesh. Ends up awkward. Okay. Um, this one, this one, this one. There we go. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Herdrex. Good to see you, man. So glad you're here. Welcome. And uh, and thank you. <laughs> you know, it's that season up here. It's getting a little chilly, so I'll just keep the cap on the skull. Yeah, right? Likewise. Yep. Glad you're here. All right, so let's go ahead and unfix my fixing here. Good deal. Awesome. All right. Yeah, thank you for joining us. We're just doing the... Uh, you know, we talked a, a lot about uh, doing 6.0 step by step together, and that's basically what I'm doing it right now. I started it last weekend, and uh, we're just kind of slowly going through it. It's been a great way to find problems, you know. And so each step of the way, we're just using the CFG generator, right? Copy paste the results, make sure everything just works as Todd intended. All right, so I'll go ahead and minimize that one for now. Let's go ahead and go out to. Yeah, right? I feel it is pretty awesome. All right, so for Met, we've got uh, Met. Oops. Texture. Met. Okay, so I obviously have the wrong thing going on here. That folder can go away. Cool. Now we, I think we resemble, we resemble the CFG generator now. Good deal. Go ahead and click this one enabled. Go back to our, before we get too many tabs open. Oh, look, it's good. It's done. Awesome. Click that. Even though I clicked it over here, no big deal. Let's get our new load order. <clears throat> okay, all right. I had to respond to Ronick, who was kind enough to inform me about the, the issue. So, uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what's happening here? Enable. Let's try this again. Enable. Very good. All right. All right. So, oops. You know what? I'm jumping the gun here. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and... Shall we? Let's go, man. We're getting... So much. Oops. I didn't quite go far enough back. Yeah, here we go. Erase it. Copy it. And let's validate it. Uh, whoops. What happened? Hold up. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah, look at this. I didn't, uh, I did a bad thing here. Hold on. Let's just take what I got from website one and put it in website two. And you at home ought to be doing this as well if you're using the CFG generator. So you can get accurate results like I've got. 
Oh, yeah, Gonzo, agreed. I mean, this is like such a long song. Like, I'm kind of one of those guys. I like metal, but at the same time, too, I like 15-minute long songs kind of annoy me sometimes. But this one, it's like, it's cool. It's not exactly 15 minutes, by the way. It's 7 minutes, 44 seconds, but still. And we're at the very end here for sure, but yeah, it's epic. Boom, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the right thing. And not have everything fail. There we go. Awesome. Cool. All right. I like it. Next up. Oh, AAB full upscale. So <laughs> if I don't have this one or something like this, I would probably, you know, download it and move on. Um, I've got an okay internet connection and a premium Nexus account, but still. Oof. I know, yeah. Oh, 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 wait, no, I misread what you said. Final Fantasy 14. Ooh, nice. Yeah, you know, I, uh, it's kind of on my two playlist, but I'm not really into MMOs, unfortunately. I wish I loved them. Full upscale. Okay, main normals. Hey, look at that. I already got it. Cool. You know what? We're going to go ahead and drop the desk. Too much coffee. There's no such thing as too much coffee except for when you've had too much coffee. You know what I mean. All right. <clears throat> so, step 32. Wow. Huh. Only what? 10 times as many times two, roughly. Or a little bit less than that. A little bit less than 20 times. Wow. Okay, let's get a new config. We need, uh, you know what we need? I don't know if we, <clears throat> I don't know if we talked about this. Gonzo, Hudrex, Sector, my people. I feel like we need a, uh, we do need like a TOC here, right? For each of the subsections. Cause like this is kind of annoying to scroll down. Um, not gonna lie. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get there. Morrowind, AIO, normal maps for OpenMW. but uh, with a name that's not this one. Alright. Hmm. Uh, you mean so the width of the table here uh, that we have, that we're drawing here? Make it a little bit, uh, cause yeah, you're right. Most of the mods don't have an awkward name, long name like this one. Really, um, hmm. Condense it, center it a little bit more, uh, and yeah, have a TLC too. I feel like, uh, oh, I see. Hmm. So you mean making these rows then a little bit thinner? Cause that's an interesting idea. We could even try that out right now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Um, once I can learn to type, let's just quickly try this out, huh? Uh, 
part in the slight diversion here, but this is a question that we've got to answer right now. Alright, let's just get a really short list loaded up so we don't kill my potato, my high-end potato. Alright. So what do we got here? What actually is this thing? Let's bust out our friend, the dev console. Come on, give me that. The inspector, yeah. CSS. Okay, so here's the neat thing about the dev console. Check this out. Try, feel free to try this at home, kids. Uh, let's go ahead and just type a different number in here. Let's make it. Let's make it quite a bit more condensed. Zero. Oh, awkward. That didn't really work. That's because that that friends is the body applied to the body and to everything. So there actually is no. Directly on this, there is not. So we're gonna have to put it in there manually. That's fine. Let's do um, line height, just like they have it. And uh, we'll use a 1.0. Oh, is that explicit, implicitly pixels, or what is that? Seems a bizarre value. All right, well, that's not going to look right. Because yeah. we need, oops, we need mod name also. And we're probably going to need a fresh browser that doesn't have any cache. So let's go ahead and try that. really see a difference all right we're gonna shelve this for now but that's an interesting idea i hate css what can i say making it more narrow is a really good idea um, and i guess we'll add that to the 2090 list or maybe the 6.0 list all right back to the actual substance now i think we can go ahead and uh Only since we got it. Yes. New config. Looks good. Whoop. All right. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So, I suppose we don't need this data path. Yeah, because it's being fully replaced according to uh, the validator here. So, I'll go ahead and redeploy that to both of my websites. That way, when one's broken, I can just switch over to the other again. Wish I would have thought of that last week. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's move on. And I'll just remember to knock that one out until we fix it. 
Okay. Um, this is one I've talked about with a few of the people on the team. Um, it seems like some of these might cause awkward conflicts with some of the textures we're using. Uh, like weird edges on uh, mushrooms. For now, we're just going to go with it, and then we'll, we'll get in-game and look at it and see what we need to fix. I need more coffee. Okay, um, this is another one I wouldn't want to download on the stream. It might take too long. Normal maps for everything. Normal maps for Morrowind. Hmm? Yeah, quite an old one. I think I got it. I think I remember these being kind of awkward. Oh, well, let's, let's just enable I seem like I have it, but let's enable it. I got him. Definitely. They l honestly look fine to me, but I'm not going to try and eyeball it. Except obviously for that, which is, we're going to jump back over to the beta site here for a moment. And 
this is a big one right here. <laughs> Quite a lot of stuff. All right. Probably some of these names might not match up for me. Uh, here we go. And yeah, quite a lot of... So for this one, when you get to it, um, there's going to be quite a lot of different things to download. Actually, as we note here, download the following files, and you can see each of them are indicated individually and what folders you're going to want to put them into. Uh, all right, so let's just quickly... Gracious uh, thank you to the to the author here and 154 options. Um, we're only using a small chunk of that. But yeah, just awesome. Okay, there's a good chance I don't have some of these too. Uh, maybe Ronick found some stuff I missed. Anyways, let's enable it. Cool. All right, here we go. This could be trouble. Uh, meaning I don't have the right folder names. Whoops, here we go. <gasps> oh no. That's a lot of... Uh. <laughs> oh no. All right, all right, we can fix this. I'm hoping it's just the base folders wrong, named wrong, right? Normal maps for everything. Yeah, yeah. I have a big F. That's a big F for sure. All right, that's much more doable. I can live with this. I'd rather not have to fix these, but um, let's so let's see what we got here. TRPC, TR. Hmm. I just might not even have that. Let's go check out the download page. I might not even have that one. Um, TRPC. folders we're supposed to make. Let me get my screen space back there. What is this one? Uh, OAAB data. I know I have. Let's go ahead and... Oh no. Okay. Right? I was actually thinking too, this tune gives me like Metroid Prime vibes, and I kind of want to play Metroid Prime right now, I'm not gonna lie. Just like, sit, I've been sitting on some peppermint ice cream, and I just want to have peppermint ice cream and play Metroid Prime. Anyways, New Will and Eevee, I know I got that one. Okay, hold up. Yeah, Danae's mods too, I named some of these wrong. What's next? FMGS. Whoop. 
Hey, I don't think I have this. one we gotta make. Let's check the website here. Is it? Presents unique winged twilights normal head. That's what I got, right? right. I think we need to add that to our list of, uh, of folders. Take another look at what we got here. Yeah, we need to add this folder here and actually change the name. But where does this come from? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and fix that. this folder name. And let's push it up. Let's jump back over to the non-broken website. I like this. This is fun. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, I don't need to do that. We can just hop on over. VIP. Uh, kindly providing many nice things that we'll use. Thank you so much, Vegito. And I love the kitty. All right, well, um, let's see if what I got pleases the generator, huh? So, you know what I think? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I think I might have done something really crazy here. Okay. Oh, and we never finished. Whew. We didn't. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. I got this one right here. do not have this one. I'll grab it in a moment. Uh, yeah, okay. Did I make a, by the way, did I make a boo-boo on that one? Did I? 
this. Yeah, sure did. Should be looking a lot better. Still don't know where this one comes from. So I gotta be on there, but we'll find it. All right, uh, so let's get to uh, Hall of Justice. Yeah, sure enough, I am missing it. Okay, let's get it. Wouldn't you know, that's one we gotta make a folder for, so let's... Hall of Justice, let's see here... Ooh, that might be another one we have to add. Yeah, yeah, okay. It sure is, let's... Stop the update, that is basically already almost done. Up here. Okay, I think that'll do it. And now let's push that out there. Mm, yeah, that's good to go. Let's try it again. So these two are going to be fixed. This one now, let's find that. Let's start from the top, and I'm going to try to not eyeball these incorrectly. Astrolo Jinsky. Here we go. Boom. Beautiful cities of Morrowind. Got it. Yeah, I'm not seeing the... I'm not seeing the one which this corresponds to. See if I have this. There we go. It was just me goofing like usual. Ah, all is well. The known failures right here that are going to get fixed once that's done. All right, let's move on. I feel confident that we've done everything. Yeah, <laughs> Altario, welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you for joining. And yes, you joined just in time. Uh, just made a few edits so far. Nothing crazy. Um... had to add to the manual folder making steps here uh, and I f oh yeah and and uh, apparently the the validator said the HD that ships with OAAB data is overwritten so I scrapped that and here we go moving on let's get our config hmm? maybe this will finish in time 
Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's great. Okay. Huh. Yeah. You know, I. Part of me wants, and this is like on the 2090 list, but I feel like expanded vanilla should have a like, I want HD stuff or I don't want HD stuff options, right? <clears throat> um, you know what? We gotta hop back to the staging, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah, we didn't. Cool, we didn't get anywhere. <sighs> we made no progress, thankfully. Yeah, and we're in the same place on both websites. All right, praise Todd. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Um, so I guess I was gonna add this one and see what breaks. Let's do it. And it's you know it's good if not a little irritating that most of the problem I'm ha problems I'm having are related to just the bunk folder names I picked. Oops. Won't be doing that anymore. All right. Here's our config. Let's drop it in. So there's going to be the known failures. These two guys should pop up again. Oh, wait, wait. Just in time, we're going to jump back over here. Just in time. Now this one will blend. Except for, uh, this is the like expected failure, I think. Uh, okay, oh, oh, I didn't, um... I didn't do this one either. Okay, that's fine. shuffle it again okay yeah all just Vegito stuff failing I can live with that and I may actually may not have some of these let's see uh, patches yeah 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 that's right I wanted to check for VIP hmm Texture packs. I got them under texture packs and separate folders. What was I thinking? Let's fix them. Uh, yeah, Altari, I'll just saw your comment. Um, agreed. Yeah. Um, that's very true. It works, right? Like going with vanilla textures works for something like Just Good Morrowind that doesn't plop in a bunch of new content. So, yeah, that's a good call out. All right. Well, I guess let's fix this, huh? Really nice piano take on the FF7 tune here. Wow. That's pretty good. VIP. Okay, so at least I've been consistent in my doing it wrong. give a home for all these poor things uh, okay yeah so one by one we'll just fix them this is gonna be concept uh, concept art palace we are really jamming Okay, I'm gonna re-download that one. <laughs> and I'm gonna clear my trash. So it's not mixed in with a bunch of crap when I do that again. Concept, all right, here we go. All right? Yeah, Concept Art Palace.
right, good deal. And we have two working websites, yay. Okay. Concept Art Plantation. So let's get the library one in there. Whoop, not you. You. I tell you, these TR tunes, pretty good. Just like good ambient tunes to have on while you're hacking, I gotta say. now. Wow, some of these <laughs> folder names huge. Ban Benef. I feel like I have this one. Just failing to read a magic crash on this page. Hmm, I don't think I have it. Okay. I somehow doubt that. I'm just gonna sanity check myself. Yeah. I knew I had that one, I just named it wrong. Ooh, really nice. I'm super hyped about that, Altario. That's awesome. It's going to be one of the best parts about playing with um, 0.49 on 6.0. <clears throat> Actually, part of me was thinking about making something that disables the music when combat starts. I don't know. <laughs> I could just delete the tracks, but yeah. I kind of liked that. All right. Um, so yeah, the tales from the... Here we go. I'm not sure. I'm just going to delete that because I don't actually know where I got that from. Might be something else. Obviously, the, the file is gone. Hey, Ateno, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining. Just continuing on setting up Total Overhaul. So please, yeah, stay for a while. Let's mod the game. We're doing the massive normal maps for everything step right now. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. We're past that. We're doing the other reasonably big normal map step. Uh, Vegito's patches. Quite a bit of stuff here, you know. More than a handful, for sure. Okay. Ashlanders. I feel like this is another one I might have named wrong. No, no, here it is. Yeah. Okay, it should blend now. Let's see. All right, great job. Todd approves. You know, I haven't actually gone in-game for a minute. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, a, there's quite a lot of log entries for sure on that one. Um, 
the author has the code up on GitHub, so I would encourage you to maybe file an issue. Maybe they would uh, reduce that or something. All right. Um, wow. Matt just looks really good. Look at these rocks. I tell you. Matt. <laughs> it's so awesome. Whoa. Hold up. Hello, Eldefire. Yeah, I mean, just wow. You got like the awkwardness of like the hair on her brow there, but still. Oof. Looking so good. And yeah, so the, the purple textures, missing textures we had before fixed because we've thrown Matt in there and um you know I'm running on my high-end potato here and I mean 16 frames per second while I'm streaming is kind of respectable you know this is an integrated Intel graphics card on my Linux setup here uh, I got three displays going two external you know so there's quite a lot going on with my graphics card right now and um my graphics card and I'm happy with the way it looks and so yeah this is total overhaul what as of step let's see Total overhaul, 37 steps in, and I mean, it's, you know, looking pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. We can see uh, Tamara we built. Lands looking great over there. Uh... <sighs> A tenno. Um, yeah, good question. Well, so I think the TR heads look good. The problem is that the TR heads look good. But the Wesley heads look like really, really good, and there is kind of a a disconnect there. You know, it's a little discordant. Um, I don't know if you're if you're like a perfectionist type of person. I don't think there's any way it's not gonna bother you. Um, I've been doing this long enough where <laughs> that's an acceptable loss at this point. Um, it takes a lot of skill. Oh, okay. Yeah, a uh, Galeo's race is interesting. So yeah, one of these days on the stream, we'll do like a Pepsi challenge of the various face replacers that are out there and look at them again. You know, we're obviously right now we're going with West with Wesley's stuff. That's very good. Um, would be interesting though to compare them. All right, well, let's move on. Hmm. We're on to the next section actually too. I think we're on to. Uh, let's see here. Um, but yeah, that's a great question. It would be good to do that. You know, just kind of. Uh, here are all the different ones. I will say, when I'm playing uh, with Just Good Morrowind, which is my mostly vanilla setup, it's really great to have... Um, let's see, what do we got here? What's it called? I don't want to say the wrong name. Because I forget. I want to say it's Caleb's. Face. No. Okay. I am totally derping here, folks. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't actually put it on Just Good Morrowind. That's what I'm derping on. But this is the one that's just, you know, um, it's pretty good. Like, as far as, like, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> that's a, sorry, I could not not laugh when I looked at this. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I like, I actually really like these, though. Um, I feel like as far as the vanilla stuff, this is some of the best look you're going to get. You know, it definitely cleans up. Some of the awkwardness of the various things here. Yeah. <laughs> Potato head Colovian race. Yeah. I, I always heard that uh, Oblivion was actually uh, began as a potato simulator. Potato head simulator. All right. So, yeah, moving on. We got the next section here, landscapes. And this is where things are going to start to get really interesting, too. We're going to start really replacing textures um, and not relying completely on met. And so, yeah, this one you'll get from full rest. I happen to already have it. Let's go here. Landscape.
Okay, just another case of putting it in the wrong place. There we go. Right, okay. So for this one, I wonder, Altariel, Gonzo, Sector, everybody. I have this separated into the, you know, the various quality options. I wonder, should we do that too? Um, for total overhaul, I believe I was loading HQ and UHQ. They don't replace UHQ, doesn't fully replace HQ. Um, I'm wondering if we should do that. I'm thinking yes. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, thank you. I think we're gonna do that. So extra, whoop, yikes. Yeah, thank you, thank you both of you. Thank you so much. Um, and I suppose, so are we still, when we have to create these folders, are we still in the, in the usage notes saying create these folders? Probably yes, right? Let's go look at the download page again. Yeah. And extract their respective downloads into that. All right. I think that should blend. I'm not even gonna run the test. Just gonna push it up there. And let's, uh, okay, no need to website hop just yet. I'm gonna enable that one and move forward. Landscaper texture, all right. And actually, let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go in game. For a quick moment, I'm going to give you some gameplay to look at. We're finally at the point where it's really starting to <laughs> make my potato sweat a little bit. Ah, there we go. All right. And let's see here. Give me OBS here. Yeah. All right, I shall return. Ooh, it's dark. I didn't even see myself. I'll be back.
right. Thank you for waiting. Actually, let's... There we go. Okay. Yeah, kind of... Uh, thank you, Ateno-senpai. I kind of wish we could have that... Um, Hosted, but I don't know. Maybe somebody will ask Titty for permission. Yeah, looking and running pretty okay right now. Um, and actually, let's go ahead and yeah, here we go. Let's just take a look at our Lua top here. We don't have any Lua mods at the moment, but it's just interesting to note. Tiny amount of memory usage going on here with Lua scripts running. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Um, well, I can block it. So I actually got this shirt um, when I went to Boston for a concert many years ago. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I was, uh, shoot, let's see here. I don't want to close OBS. I've done this before. Uh, I visited the Free Software Foundation offices in Boston, and I walked away with this souvenir. Um, I bought this t-shirt and some stickers. I think I donated some money, too, because I'm an Emacs user, right? I benefit from their software, so I felt like I got to pay for it, you know? Um, yeah, it's cool, though. Thank you for noticing it. It's one of my favorite t-shirts. All right. Uh, wow. So the website update happened while I was AFK using the restroom. So good. Well, that just means we'll be able to use the CFG generator as intended without any interruptions. Um, landscape protector. I got this one. So let's see what folders it says we need. Okay. 2K. Boom. Okay. I wonder if I should delete these. Whoops. Had them just since forever. Kind of a thing. All right. Well, let's enable it, get our new CFG, and move along. What happened? There we go. All right. Very good. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Sorry that you missed that. Yeah, when I went to the uh, offices, it was two days after Christmas, so everybody was it was only IT person there and one other person. Um, so we had lunch with the IT person and, and talked a lot of uh, free software. It was good times for sure, but no RMS. Not that day. Oh, what? Hold up. Oh, <laughs> I jumped the gun. The website is broken, I just was... Let's just hop on over here, no problem. Like I always say, when your website's broken, just bring your other website, all right. So, let's load up our config. Hmm.
Hi, Smallio. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. You. All right. Break the website again. It's for a good cause. And shift back to the other one. Also for a good cause. Whoops. Move forward. Okay. This one comes with a extra config. When you're going through this yourself, you'll want to make sure you got that. I already do. Don't have to worry about it. I'm only updating the load order config during this stream. Let's take a look at this one. So let's see where the website wants us to put it. Landscape as well. Right? Okay. Enable. Pretty good, I gotta say. Let's get that one in there. All right. Cool. Enable. We'll check it again once this is done approaching. Just silently, yeah, moved into the architecture section. Look at that! Progress. Progress, progress, progress. Ah, good. Okay. Revamped. Not totally replacing the one that we just looked at. Going alongside it. This is another one I think where we're going to add HQ, MQ. Maybe. No, no, no. You know what? We're not going to do that. Because um, we're just telling people to go with HQ. And if you want to go with MQ, do it. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. I don't actually use the MQ. Actually, I only had it there for science. Just for testing things out, you know. All right. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and resume the deploy that I just control seed. Okay. Enable it, please. And let's go. Now to the beta website again. We're juggling websites.
Copy pasta. obliged to actually jump in the game and look at it, so let's do that. You know what, I'm actually going to add the vanilla splashes too, just so we don't have the awkward blue screen. The blue screen of no splash. Ah, I shouldn't do that. That'll be an extra. Ignore me. Okay. Ooh. Starting to shape up a little bit. We got some excellent landscape textures here. Coming together. Looking nice. Alright. Let's go to... Uh, see some Dwemer ruins up close. Pick this one for no particular reason. Give me the sun, please. All right. Nice. Okay. Sit back for a minute and enjoy. Never mind the awkward brightness, but yeah, I love them. These textures are great. All right, shall we continue? Website jumping to the max. Okay. Architecture, Dwemer Ruins, Normal Map. Ruins, Normal Map. Alright. 1.0, looks like it. So as noted here, <coughs> if you're using a dev build, you'll skip this one, and you'll use the, uh, the Lua version instead, which will dynamically replace all of the lighting rods. Um, this one goes about it in a hand-placed manner in this ESP plugin, so uh, I myself... I'm going to normally be using this one, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to go ahead with uh, that one. So, armor lightning rods. Let's put it in here.
Okay. We should go in the game after this one. So let's try it. Hmm? hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I know there's definitely like a fan interest in the mage. You know, it's like what you want to play in Morrowind, but yeah. Hold on, I'm jumping the gun. All right, let's at least just validate it. Maybe I won't jump in game. I would love that, Atano. That would be really awesome. And that's the kind of thing I like to see. All right, we check out. We're good to go. Not gonna fire up the game just yet, though. Uh, let's add the pavements, huh? Looking great. I love this. These pavements are awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I do have this one. Yeah. Architecture. Yeah, here we go. Both those options. Enable it. Interesting to revisit this option. Hmm. Just for fun. Hey, Drake, I have it. I don't even have it downloaded. I'm going to download it again and check it out. It just looks so good. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna go in game and look at this. Okay. Once again, I have an arbitrary folder name here that doesn't match. Cool, okay. Uh, I think we're good. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, and the next one too. Gonna start looking really good. Although I do believe that uh, we internally on the team had talked about this one steps being a little bit hard to follow. So I guess, I guess we're gonna address that shortly. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, let's get our conditions.
little O of. Ta da! Alright, let's look. I'm gonna have to start doing this on my actual gaming rig. Huh, that's an idea. Alright, anyways. Let's, uh, let's turn the AI off. Let's pop on over to some ruins, huh? Hopefully it stays cloudy, please, game. Or it stays sunny, I mean. <laughs> Alright. Let's not be at hyperspastic speeds. Alright. Oh, we got a missing thing over here. Oh, hey. Alright, oh, because we don't have epic plants yet. So this may be something to note, um, because we have, uh, oh, interesting, it's coming from Project Atlas. Oh. I guess we haven't installed the Epic Plants mesh yet, that's why it's missing. Oh. Ignore that, that's not why we're here. We are here, though. Ooh, look at that. It's a little moist. I'm seeing the results I want to see here. Gotcha. That makes sense. Thank you, Eltariel. Yeah, that makes sense. Once we put epic plants in the load order, everything will be right as rain. Uh, let's see. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oof. Just... Okay, gotcha. Thank you for that insight, Altariel. I appreciate the research, as always. We gotta go quite a bit slower here, actually. Yeah. Looks so good. Oh, yeah, just look at all of these. And I kind of ruined it by dropping the, or raising the light level. Let's put it back down. I need a torch or something. Here we go. No, that's an arrow. Just looks too good. at work, I think. Pretty well. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's jump back out and continue. So let's see what I got for this one. Yeah, so um, thank you, Ateno, for asking. Um, let me just show you here. If we go to our friend over here at Normal Maps for everything, I believe they've got. Yeah, here we go. So they have an option here, and it's pretty good. Uh, 
I can't recall if we're using it on like, iHeart Vanilla. I think we probably should. But yeah, I would give that a try. Definitely. Alright. You got it. They look good. They really do. Ah, speaking of looking good. Alright, so... Quite a lot of options here. I'm trying to put myself back into my head a year ago, which is when I probably set this all up. Let's see here. Imperial Tunnels revamp. Oh boy, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Download and extract the files in this order. No, no, no. There you go. Interior cells. LOD1. Update only. LOD0. Spec normal maps. Oh my god, I've already confused myself. Hang on. So what is this? Oh no, okay, update only. So this is, okay, I, I didn't read properly. It's back in normal maps. Then LOD0. Yes. With all due respect, it is a wonderful naming scheme. Okay, so it does all make sense in a nonsensical way. Uh, uh, what I wrote here, that is... Um, Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you need cutting room floor. There's a lot of good stuff in there, Ateno. I would strongly encourage you to go with it. Um, but hey, to each their own, right? I need a sip of coffee. And we're going to take a look at this one, too, because this is another one of my favorite. Ooh, and this is one, actually, um, you know, our friend Zesterer, who made the wonderful volumetric clouds, shadows. Um, I'm sorry, mist. He's been working on ambient occlusion and... Um, Looks kind of weird with this one, I gotta say. Maybe we'll, I'll fire that up. And I've been meaning to show Zesterer, give them a, an example of this. Um, definitely they were interested in the feedback, so we want to make sure, you know, we show them what doesn't work and what does. All right. So, this is what it says we need. Uh, what do I got, though? All, right, all over the place here. Yikes. Okay. Interior cells, data files, spec and norm, and normal. You gotta rename it. Do we, by the way, do we know if we have an OpenMW bug? There should be a bug on OpenMW's tracker because the engine should not care about ampersand. That's a bug in their config parser. I've probably mentioned this before, but we need to look that up. Anyways, LOD zero. Yeah. And GITD LOD0. So I have these extracted because, again, for science purposes, I was trying to see, like, what the difference was. Um, you only need these ones. All right. Let's enable it and try it. I'm excited. I love this one so much. Takes liberties with the dimensions of some of the meshes. Uh, you know, it's worth it, though. All right. Copy pasta. It's almost lunchtime. All right, let's go in the game. You know we're getting to some real progress in the list when <laughs> my game takes, I don't know, a minute to load up now. Let's see. Good, here we go. Let's get to a sensible speed. Fifty should be good. And 
and just exquisite detail here. Bargot's got a real nice looking house with a, with a straw roof. And just against the light, everything looks really phenomenal. You could say it looks too good, and I'll give you that. Like, look at this guy <laughs> standing next to the brick. We'll get there, don't worry. Let's head inside. I can't really see anything because the window. All right, cool. Well, it's a wrap on that one. Let's continue. We only got a little bit more of time. Ah, yeah, Lysol. Finally, we're on to the Lysol stuff. Hi, Lysol. Yeah, yeah, definitely one of mine too, for sure, right? Like discovering natural character growth and decay, discovering Lysol's normal maps and kind of learning what normal maps even are because I didn't really know at the time. And, and yeah, just, wow, you know, and, and these ones are pretty good, I will say. I'm a fan. Okay, so. And Lysol's my buddy. Alright, looks like I got explicitly not Atlas. Looks like I got everything here that I should. Um, I want to go take a look at those too, so let's do that. Let's add it. Let's see it get added. Wow, this is a big section. 28 mods for architecture. But it's worth it. All right. And it's really a... It's a long section, but it's a beautiful run one, right? Like, every step of the way, you're, like, inching more and towards uh, absolute beauty. Beyond what Todd ever intended. Great job. In we go. <laughs> yes, Sector, I hear you. They are so good. Um, I do feel like uh, Lysol's Imperial for Imperial uh, Town textures are a good alternative to Town's revamp. A little more conservative, but still looking good. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't know where the nickname comes from. All right, let's go to Let's go up the road, shall we? Just take a quick look. All right. It's so weird to see scenes without ground cover. I don't play without ground cover anymore, and it's like, what's going on here? All right. And you really got to see them against the light, right? Let me head to the... There we go. That's where they really shine. Looking good. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Another one that's just... And so... We had a discussion, or just a mention, earlier on Discord, but we do have a tag here on the website. Manual edit needed. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Love Lysol. Um, and this is a, this is basically a kind of a high-level look at all of the mods on the website that require a manual edit uh, in order to function in some way or another. And uh, our friend here, Sector, Section 8, he's been working on... Um, 
the bump map fixer. I forget what you call it, command line tool to automatically fix bump maps. But I feel like a lot of these, we can still indicate, right, that a manual edit is needed, but our instructions might change, right? Um, right now we're saying, the mod contains unspecified in-mesh bump maps. For the bump maps to display properly, please rename the following texture files, nm, nm to m. And we have a bunch of listed files there. Um, open MW bump map translator. Can you link me, my man, please? Um, we'll, we'll show that on the screen. But that's something that we're working on for list users. Um, and uh, Sector, does it also rename the textures too? Just how much does it do for the user? Would there be any manual intervention needed when using it? Thank you so much, man. Okay, nice, that's great. That's outstanding. All right, thank you so much, Sector. Magical Dave, the Rust Wizard, the resident Rust, resident Rust Wizard of the group, really. Um, and yeah, so we're developing this for inclusion in the mod list, I think. Um, Anyway, so for now, we're gonna, let's go ahead and just proceed as normal. We're not gonna try jump into this just yet today, but this will be the focus. Um, President Rust, okay, you got it, dude. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's you. All right, uh, so let's look at my collection here. What do I got? I know I have it. So one of the things I wanted to do, though, uh, in this effort was to, yeah, just start fresh. I've already fixed these files years ago, but I want to start fresh like I'm you, the user, going through this. So V2 bump option. Let's plop that in there. All right. Not going to do any of these renames, though. Let's look at what it looks like before we fi fix it, right? Enable. Okay. And we're going to get a checkbox there. Yes. Copy that. Cool, okay. And so we can just spawn right into Sedanin and right away see what this looks like. Um, I do have the apply lighting to environment maps option enabled and that's what makes MGE bump maps look as normal as they can in OpenMW by our friend Capo, the mighty. So let's take a look at this lighthouse, shall we? Ooh, poor potato GPU, really suffering right now, but that's fine. All right, so totally unedited, out of the box. Eh, you know, it looks okay. Um. We've been, uh, Sophie in particular, has been doing a lot of uh, research into the visual differences between the various approaches to fixing these types of mods. And uh, I think at the end of the day, we're going to have to just do a comparison and decide what looks best and when. But for now, having not even done any renaming or anything, I mean, i got to say it looks okay, but does it look as good as it could? I'm not sure. Let's slow down a little bit here. I'm not really seeing height map effects or anything like that. I don't know if this has that, though. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> the unofficial total overhaul splash screen, you mean? <laughs> Which I unapprovedly approve. Okay. Yeah, so, um... This is, you know, I think it could almost deserve its own stream, right? Like, maybe you could cover it, Sector. Like, the difference between using bump maps fresh or, or modifying it. Um, okay, okay, for sure. Yeah, because, I mean, this looks good. The texture looks good, but I don't feel like I'm really seeing bump maps here. I'm just seeing a good texture, you know? So, um, yeah, really good texture. <laughs> uh so, you know, let's let's do what the website suggests and let's fix it manually. There's this uh, boss fight music going on here. 
This part is where it's broken the worst. What do you mean? The tool or the website or please? Oh, okay. I see. On the mesh in game. I got you. Okay, well. Let's rename some of these textures, shall we? Oop, floor. Oop, floor. And then... Ooh, you know what? Hang on. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's. Uh... What is this folder? Architecture. Cool. Um, so I just did a, a for loop, a quick shell thing to just rename them all in one swoop. And if we look back here, we got underscore n as intended. Let's jump back in the game now and take a look at this. Um, Sector saying it's it's broken at the top, so let's hop back in there and see. Coffee time. Instant difference. Um, I mean, right away I can see almost almost has the shiny effect on it. Huh? This this does look shiny. The bricks on the floor above. Okay. Oh, oh my! Is it raining? For Todd's sake! All right, hang on. Moisture, okay. Hmm. So, um, I take it then you've seen the difference between doing it this way and then actually editing the mesh right with your with your tool. Is there a noticeable visual difference? We're not going to do that right now, but eventually I would like to. Um, yeah, gotcha. Right. OBMT is going to edit the mesh, remove the bunk nodes. Um, that's technical speak for basically there's content inside the meshes that OpenMW doesn't read quite the same as MGE. Very high level, too long, didn't read. Come on, give me sunshine already. Oh, man. Um, all right, so yeah, I guess that's like, that's another item that we're going to have to nail down for 6.0 is um, testing, you know, the visual quality differences when using uh, OBMT adding it to the website with usage instructions and um, indicating for each mod, you know, which one is, which ones are going to be affected by it. Okay, finally, we're getting some sunlight here. Jeez. And yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, you got it, dude. We'll, we will provide. Yeah, that'll be one of the last things we finish. Um, I think. I mean, just the past week, we've gotten some ground coverify things uh, merged from Benjamin, some rule updates from, from Ronick, and uh, Windows usage improve improvements by me. Um, cool. Okay, well, I feel satisfied with this for now. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to flesh out the piece where we uh, where we really, like, boost it to visual tod toddliness. Um We'll leave it at this for now though i want to thank you for joining me today happy modding we will be back tomorrow as usual yeah yeah for sure oh yeah and yeah good call out sector and yeah um thank you everybody please uh for joining today we'll see you tomorrow we're going to continue this trot through the uh this trot through the total overhaul so uh cheers happy modding and have a lovely day